Squamous cell carcinoma is the second most common skin cancer, after basal cell carcinoma. It is directly associated with extended exposure to the sunlight. It is also associated with immunosuppressive drugs, skin trauma, especially repeated ones, and skin burns. Arsen exposure have also been linked to squamous cell carcinoma. Grossly, these lesions will be ulcerated or scaly. In fact, the most common presentation is a scaly lesion that does not heal. It can involve any area in the body, but like we said, mainly the sun-exposed areas, so the face, the neck, the arms and hands. If it involves the face, it tends to favor the lower lip. These cancer cells often quickly involve the lymph node, but rarely metastasize outside the lymph node. They can be, however, locally invasive. Under the microscope, you will see the classic curatine pearls. This is highly specific of squamous cell carcinoma. Actinic keratosis is a scaly skin lesion that involves an area that is chronically exposed to the sun, mainly the forehead. These lesions, however benign, are precursors for squamous cell carcinoma. And just like basal cell carcinoma, surgical excision is the mainstay of treatment. Again, if these lesions involve the face, moist surgery can be performed. Other options include cryotherapy, laser removal, radiotherapy, and photodynamic therapy. If these lesions metastasize, chemotherapy can be considered. Use the link below to get access to the full dermatology course. This includes more than 60 lectures with study notes and revision cards. You will also get access to the flashcards and MCQs. Thank you for watching.